of the cooler new features of Photoshop CS6, or maybe one of the more cutting edge features of Photoshop CS6 has been the Content Aware Move tool. It's a very cool tool that holds a lot of promise and is very, very powerful. The basic idea behind Content Aware Move is that you select something in your photograph or your image and you move it to another part of the image and Photoshop goes and uses Content Aware Fill fills in where you had selected and moved that object from and blends that new object into the new area of the image. Now, just as with any kind of automated tool such as this, there are some flaws and things like that. We're going to go over some of that and take a look at how you can sort of rectify some of that and just some of the things where I, at least I haven't found a remedy for them yet and just maybe some of the shortcomings of content aware move, but still extremely, extremely powerful tool and it's going to be a very, very great tool uh, to use in Photoshop and it still is going to be a very time-saving tool for you. So we're going to take a look at a few different images here. Let's get started with the first image here and what I want to do with this image is I just want to take these bikers here. I'm going to zoom out so you can see the entire image. I want to grab these guys and move them back over here so they're kind of riding into the frame, maybe not so into the frame already. Now with Content Aware Move, you can use different selection tools. The Content Aware Move tool is located over here beneath this, the Spot Healing Brush, the Healing Brush Patch tool, all that stuff. Content Aware Move, there it is. And you can make the selection with the Content Aware tool, but you can also use your other selection tools. So let's just go ahead and make a selection. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit on these guys. And what you want to just keep an eye for when you're making your selection is Remember, this is a, a content aware tool, so you need to give Photoshop some context, some of what is in the rest of the image to work with. So be a little generous with your selection. I'm going to select all the way out here, and I'm going to select the whole shadow. When you're selecting a shadowed object, we do want that shadow to be copied as well. And just finish it off just like that. Now, a couple things we need to take a look at. By default, the content aware move tool is set to the mode of move, which is what we want to set it to here. And we also have this adaptation option over here. We're going to take a look at that in a second. All we need to do now is just grab these guys and move them to wherever we want to move them to. I want to move them so that this curb strip that they're kind of riding by, that the shadow so conveniently is cast across, is going to line up with this curb strip here at the bottom of the image. So I'm just going to drag it down and to the best of my ability line it up, not really seeing exactly where the curb strip is. And Photoshop's going to think about it for a second and it's going to go through, and this is actually a rather large image, but we're going to let it think. And you can see once it's done thinking here that it does a pretty good job of blending them in. However, before we deselect this, don't deselect it. Check this out. Use the hotkey Command or Control H to make your marching ants disappear. You haven't deselected. Command or Control D will deselect. This just hides those marching ants. The reason that's important is because we want to really check out our blend. And we've got a pretty good blend here. We're not getting too much warping here on these wheels. The shadow is sort of cast across the, the little concrete curb strip. So I do, I like it. We're going to deselect it. So bring the selection back by hitting Command or Control H and hit Command or Control D to deselect. There we go. Just like that. Now, we've got some issues out here. We want to get rid of these other curb strips. We're just going to leave this one for now. It's just going to be too much of a pain in the neck. We'd have to sort of redraw the shadow. Um, and for the purposes of this tutorial, just not really going to be conducive to what we're doing. However, I want to show you the other feature of Content Aware Move, and that's the Extend feature. So we're going to dump these curb strips real quick, and we're going to extend this kind of metallic steel platform. And this is going to be super cool. So go ahead and grab the patch tool. And just as a quick aside, there is this whole content aware option now with the patch tool, which is super cool. Um, however, you can use it or you don't have to use it. Um, but we're going to use it in this case. I'm just going to grab this and move it up there. Make this first guy disappear and give it a second while it does its thing. Deselect that. Great. So I'm just going to grab this guy here and move it right over. And that's going to be gone. And it's so cool how nonchalantly you can make these kind of large changes to your document. And just sort of not even think twice about it. I mean, here I am just whistling Dixie while I'm doing this. And there we go. You can see it just like that. It's gone. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the other feature that we've got here in the Content or Move tool. And that is this idea of being able to extend. Now, the extend mode, I actually like more than the Move tool. I think... Oh, Made a, made a selection accidentally there. The extend mode is super, super cool, and I think, at least at this point, seems to be a little bit more refined than the whole moving uh, mode. But let's check this out. So I'm going to grab the front side of my metallic platform here that I was standing on when I shot this photograph. And you can see I'm grabbing a bunch of the asphalt as well. And what I'm going to do, again, I'm set to extend. I'm just going to pull it right out like so. So it still overlaps our... Uh, our current platform, but sort of hangs out over the macadam as well. So Photoshop's going to do its thing. Yeah. 
and it's going to create this this final finished piece, which actually looks pretty cool because it's got almost this torn, burned metal effect. But that's not really what I'm interested in. We're going to fix that and make this pattern run all the way to the edges. The edge up here is a little rough. We'll fix that. But look at how well it has meshed these two patterns together. I mean, unless you're looking very closely, you're never going to notice a difference. So. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and grab our Content Aware Move Tool, and I'm going to grab a big chunk of the pattern back here, zoom out a little bit, and let's just pull this guy up and sort of align it with the edge. We didn't get it quite to the edge. I'm not going to take the extra time and, and go over that, but Photoshop's going to run over it. There we go. Deselect that, and then I'm going to grab a big chunk of this over here. And by the way, I should mention as a side note that the larger your image is when you're working within Content Aware and sort of the more info that's there, the better this tool is going to work. So if you're working with a tiny image where there's just not much for Content Aware fill to sample from, it's going to be a lot worse. Matter of fact, this image, if I was working at it at full size, we'd be getting even better results than we're getting here. There's a little gnarled bit in there. But now what we can do to kind of clean up this edge is I'm just going to grab my polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to start up here. I'm just going to go draw a straight edge right down along that and just grab a chunk of the macadam or the asphalt as well as the edge of this. And we're going to clean this up using the good old healing brush tool. Now I'm going to size this down. So I'm going to set this to 60. That looks about right. And uh, don't worry about that. We're going to define our point in just a second. Set the mode here to replace. And we're going to select uh, some asphalt up here. And we're just going to begin painting over this and just cover up all this nonsense. And it's going to go through and it's going to replace that. And it's going to cut a nice sharp edge for us. Now, this doesn't really have anything to do with the Content Aware Move tool other than just if you're going to use the Content Aware uh, Move tool, at least at this point, there's always going to be some element of having to go in and touch up some edges and, and correct some things like that. But still, it's it's a very huge time-saving tool, so don't be totally discouraged by it. All right, so rub all that right out. Command Control D to deselect, and you can see we've just extended our platform. We cut a nice straight edge, just like that. So that's this is sort of an ideal situation. The Content Aware Move tool works best when you've got sort of these big open areas where, where Photoshop can say, hey, this is just a very subtle pattern, so this is going to be easy to patch in over. When we start getting into more intricate patterns, for instance, if I wanted to move one of these bikers, there would be even more sort of correcting uh, things that we had to do up here around the grass and the stone wall and all that kind of stuff. So hanging out with these bikers here in the middle of the road, we, we sort of set Content Aware up to succeed. Let's go to a situation that's a little bit more difficult, and then in a moment we'll take a look at, at an image that Content Aware move isn't going to really do much good for us in. So what we've got here, well, tried to move my layer. I want to move these two characters a little over to here, closer to these kids standing on top of this dune here. This is a photograph I shot last year, or in 2011, uh, down in the Outer Banks. Um, and what I want to do, like I said, we're going to move these people right over. So again, immediately, let's grab that Content Aware Move tool and set the mode to move, and draw a rough selection around them. You don't want to get too close because, for instance, with these two people, if I get too close to them, I'll sort of cut off the guy's arm, maybe the top of his head, top of her head or her leg or something like that. So we want to give Content Aware Move some context. So I'm going to grab the shadows like that. And you can see also over here, I just grabbed this, sort of this entire bush. I'm just going to grab that entire thing just so it's one less thing for Content Aware Move to sort of have to deal with. So now I'm going to grab them and I'm just going to move them straight over right to about there. And let's see what happens. Now you can see over here, Content Aware Move's done a decent job of filling, but I can definitely tell something was there. And if I hide my selection by hitting Commander Control H, I can see we got a bit of work to do around them. So again, probably because the sand is sort of the same color, Content Aware Move says, hey, but it's the same color, so it's okay. But it's not okay, because we can see that something is awry. So Commander Control H to bring that back. Um, and one of the things we can try, actually, we can hide those again, we can try these different modes of adaptation. Now, you can do this after you've made your Content Aware move and just see what happens. So I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with Very Strict first. And basically, the difference, and you're going to see the big difference happening over here where it filled in where these people were. Very Strict seems to work best when you've got a tighter selection to your subject. Whereas very loose seems to work better when you sort of have a much larger selection around them. See, very loose does a very nice job of filling this in. However, now it looks like the guy is sort of hunchbacked and his chin is like shoved away into his chest. So let's try something like loose maybe so it's not quite as intense. And that's actually really good. Minor touch up over here and we'll be ready to roll. So Commander Control H to bring our selection back and then Commander Control D to deselect. 
All you would do at this point is grab that healing brush. You could use the spot healing brush. I always have preferred the healing brush, um, even though you do need to sort of select a source by holding on your alt or option key and clicking where you want to sample from. It just seems to render better results across the board. What I'm going to do, there's this little blurry area here. I'm going to touch that up by just grabbing some of this sand filled with footprints, just sort of dragging over that. It's going to blend it right in. There we go. Cool. Maybe touch this edge up a little bit. There we go. So that all looks pretty good. Maybe just fix up the shadow just a touch. And that all looks great. You can't even tell anybody was over there. Now we have to mess with the people here. So again, we're going to use the healing brush and you're just going to size it way down. All right. And we're just going to work on blending these edges. Yeah, I'm just holding my alter option key sampling out here on the dune. And I'm just going to go through it. You can see there I got too close to his head. So it sampled some of those darks and really just spread the darkness. All right. So we're just going to kind of buffer that edge out. It's only going to get so good. There's only so much we can do especially since we're working on such a, a small scale. But we're just going to try to blend it in as best as we can. And over here, we're going to blend that guy in a little bit. And then for running up here, there's sort of this light edge along her body, which I don't even know how noticeable it's going to be. It really, there should be that light edge because the sun up here in the sky is backlighting them. So that actually looks pretty good. And you can see that with a little bit of work, with a less than ideal situation, you can still make content aware work pretty well. So let's move on to the next image, which is just going to be a train wreck. So here's another image that I shot last year, beginning of last year, beginning of 2011, that is. And essentially what I want to do with this guy is move these pants over to the right side of the frame. Let's say I composed it this way and then later on I realized, ah, you know what, I really want to move it over. Well, Content Aware Fill, in theory, is going to allow me to do that. So let's go ahead and grab Content Aware, or Content Aware Move, excuse me. Let's grab the Content Aware Move tool. We're going to set the mode to move. And the adaptation, let's leave it at medium. And I'm going to create a rough selection around this guy. So loop around, make sure I get the subtle shadow that he's got. And also over here, this little bush, I'm just going to encompass that bush as well. And the reason that I'm going to do that is because there's sort of this the, the little bit of vegetation here that you can see between his knees. So that, that is probably sort of part of that. So it's just going to be more natural if that stays with, uh, with that little piece on the other side of his knee. So now I'm going to grab this guy and I'm going to move it straight over. I'm going to hold down my shift key and just drag it right over and I'm going to drop it. Now I'm going to keep my selection again because we'll try a couple different forms of adaptation. And whoa, you can see here just how much of a mess that the content aware Phil has done where he's come from. Now, the, the very bright side of this, and, and definitely should not be ignored, is if I hide the, these marching ants here, Commander Control H, you can see how well content aware move has blended him into this new area. The shirt's a little messed up. Maybe if we change adaptation to something like strict, it'll clean that up a little bit. Let's see. Give Photoshop a moment to sort of re-render this. But you can see here, when, when Photoshop sort of goes from the foreground, which is really in focus and very sharp with a pretty consistent pattern, out to where we've got sort of this vegetation running and coming up between the stone and concrete. And then once you get out there to the road where you've got the shops and the sky, it just goes crazy. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. And yeah, there we fixed his shirt with a strict adaptation. And he looks great there, which would be awesome if we were cropping out the rest of the image. But we're left with this kind of big mess over here. Now, that actually brings us to the idea of the extend mode on Content Aware Move again. We can try extending this chunk and moving it right over here. And it might work. I'm just going to hit Command or Control D, however, because I'd hidden my selection. So I'll deselect everything and then create a selection around this. And let's just move it over and let's see what happens. I mean, it'll probably look better than what's there now, but barely. So give it a moment to sort of analyze and do its thing. Commander Control H. And it does an okay job. You can definitely tell it's just repeated though, and the tree is the same. There's just not enough information there to really get a good, uh, a good copy and, and good blending. So you can see that the Content Aware Move tool is very, very powerful. And actually, before I let you go, a quick, quick tip. You can also use the extend mode here in Content Aware Move to duplicate objects in a scene. So for instance, let's grab these bikers again. And I'm just going to grab them. I'm not going to grab the little curb strip. 
set the mode to extend, set the adaptation. Let's go with very strict in this case. And I'm just gonna grab them and I'm gonna drag them right up to here and drop them. Now, obviously we're gonna have issues with the edge of the shadow down here, but we can worry about that later. For now, it's just a quick demonstration of, of how quickly you can just duplicate an object and have Photoshop at least roughly blend it in. And you can see just like that, we've duplicated these guys and made a second iteration of them here within this image. So that's it for this one. You can see that the Content Aware Move Tool is very, very powerful, a little rough around the edges, and it's going to take a little bit of cleaning up when you use it, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely a time-saving tool. And I can only imagine in the future, as Adobe continues to refine the Content Aware Fill, just how powerful this tool will become. It is going to be amazing. And you can see with the pattern matchups, the idea, you know, all the different colors going on, and being able to identify, you know, where we were filling down here in these sand dunes, which are all the same color and even being able to blend a large chunk of this image in nicely, albeit the kind of messing up here over with the fill. You can see that how effective and how powerful this tool is and in the future just how much more powerful it's going to become. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a thing or two and are looking forward to really diving into Photoshop CS6 and all of the new great, great features that it has. I'll catch you guys around. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Tutvid and make sure you go like the Facebook page as well. Thanks for watching.